Hi, I'm Chris. And Kathy. And today we're going to pickle up some Brussels sprouts for you. Our local supermarket, Aldi's, had a sale on Brussels sprouts. $1.29 a bag, so I bought 20 bags. That should be enough for about 40 pints of pickled Brussels sprouts. Uh, we make them because we, well, they're really a nice snack. And uh, we sell them at farmer markets for $7 a pint. And actually, they're our number one seller throughout the summer of everything that we make. The Brussels sprouts are the, our biggest seller. We got people that buy four or five jars at a time. Uh, they're great to snack on, but the majority of them buy them for uh, Bloody Marys. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm doing 10 pints at a time because my water bath container is big enough to do that. Uh, but I'm going to give you the, the brine, and that's going to... It's big enough for five pints. And if you want to double it, obviously just go ahead and double it. Anyway, you want uh, one cl clove of garlic in each pint jar, a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes in each jar. The brine is five cups of uh, distilled white vinegar, five cups of water, and seven tablespoons of canning salt. You bring the water, the vinegar, and the salt up to a boil so you're dissolving the, the salt and then uh, add that to your jars. I'm going to show you here that, uh, and these are raw. I mean, they're not cooked. You just pack them raw. Give it a little shake. You want to make sure that you push them down in there because they do shrink a little bit. So don't be afraid to really push them down in there. Okay. Uh, also, you know, what we did was we trimmed off the, all the ends of them. The loose leaves we pulled off, we're going to steam them for us later. And so now, I'm just going to dip in here and grab my brine. And I'm going to give it a half inch head space. I didn't really I didn't make a mess, but I'll, I always clean my rims anyway. My jars were sterilized before I filled them, and my lids are in the hot water. There, just finger tight. Okay, I'm going to finish these up. Once I'm done, I'm going to put them in my water bath for 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes, turn the water bath off and leave them in for another 15 minutes. And then you can take them out. Uh, that way, that extra 15 minutes, I like that because it softens them up a little bit more than uh, just the 10 minutes in the hot water bath. And that's it. It's a pretty simple straightforward recipe easy to do uh, and you can get a lot of product done at one time so hope you give them a try uh, join us on our facebook page at all things wild look for the canoe at the top of the page if you're into hunting fishing gathering foraging whatever join us there and uh, we've got about 1300 members now or so so thanks for watching bye okay. i forgot to tell you after you take them out of the water bath, let them sit for about three weeks. That way the, the hot pepper flakes and the garlic and every uh, vinegar really gets going in it. And uh, it, they taste a lot better after, after that time. So, okay, now we're gone.